वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इन क्वालिटी टॉपिक इज टूल्स ऑफ क्वालिटी इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड दोज टूल्स ऑफ क्वालिटी यू विल बी एबल टू क्लियर एनी क्वेश्चन दैट इज रिलेटेड टू पी एम पी एक्सएम सो लेट मी ट्राई टू शेयर इन दिस फाइव टू टेन मिनट्स वीडियो हाउ द टूल्स ऑफ क्वालिटीज आर एंड वॉट दे विल इम्पैक्ट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ऑडिट द ऑडिट इज अ प्रोसेस इन विच वी एक्चुअली चेक whether we are following quality management plan or project management plan or not it check effectiveness of the process please understand this thing here we are talking about effectiveness of the process it has nothing to do it has nothing to do with the like actual deliverables or not it has nothing to do with the deliverables right it is only checking about are we following the right process or not so if we are following the process we pass the audit if we are not following the process we fail the audit audit can be internal it can be external but recommended audit audit is external third party like somebody from outside the organization so audit is checking the effectiveness of a process it has nothing to do with the deliverable then the next is inspection now many people confuse audit with inspection inspection is actually checking the deliverable it will look at the deliverable and it will see whether we are following the right deliverables or not are is the deliverables according to our requirement or not and inspection can be internal for example when internally we check the deliverable and if the deliverable is meet we say it it is verified deliverable or client can check the deliverable when client check the deliverable this deliverable must be first checked internally like only verified deliverable will be checked by the client when the client check and says okay deliverable is good to go we will say that this deliverable is validated or also known as accepted deliverables can be called as approved all those name important thing when client is inspecting the deliverable and when internally we are checking when internally we are checking we check it according to quality management plan that is equivalent to definition of done when client is checking they check it according to scope baseline i can say that is equivalent to acceptance criteria in agile i hope that makes sense to you how basically different deliverables work into that way and what is the purpose of those deliverables these two tools are important in the quality topic and they are actually going to help you a lot whenever you are discussing these tools let's talk about some other tools okay so we use surveys and question is to collect data from large audience quickly whenever we want to get large audience we want to reach large audience and we want to collect data quickly surveys will be extremely helpful right then we use sampling so let's say there are million product you work in an organization where there are million 1 million product you cannot check some of them so what we do we do sampling of that sampling can be random like randomly you go and check some of the products uh, i would give a funny example here police at the custom office or custom office they randomly check the samples right whereas the other is statistical sampling statistical sampling is like after a certain amount of time let's say there are let me give you an example there are million product in a box something like that 1 2 3 4 5 whatever after every 100 or after every 100000 whatever you make you check that product and you check the product it pass or it fail something like that so that will be sampling it immediately gives you the data about that so when you are checking the product it is good to know 3 4 it is good to know 
that we have checklist checklist basically is the most basic list something is present there or something is not present it is used to check the product whether some things are present or not present and it is also used a lot in checking the sequence of steps we use checklist both in audit inspection even when we are doing sampling everything in life or those reminders or daily things you do all those are checklist we have another type of list that is called as check sheets so check sheets actually you collect the data like you did from sampling and you count down the defects 1 2 3 count down 4 5 something like that or also in the form of tally sheet this is check sheet used to collect data you can plot this data that you have collected through check sheets on histogram histogram also known as frequency distribution chart right so this is a frequency distribution chart normally used to show population or things or defects whatever is it or you can also use it as a trend chart trend chart is along with the time like in the form of this in the line form you can use this is trend chart or running chart is specifically used to show uh, how many uh, how many complaints how many problems happened today right so you can use trend chart i'm going quickly through these tools if anyone has any confusion in these tools put in the comment box i will be more than happy to go into detail and explain further on those tools we have a special type of histogram that is called pareto chart pareto vital few like few important things trivial many the purpose of pareto principle is based on 2080 like 20% of the things are key things they cause the 80% of that it actually is a prioritization chart which take out the deliverable let's say and defects and put what are the most important thing that are causing problem so you collect the data let's say there were 100000 defects and then you identify okay only 20% were making mistake it was made by victor pareto and victor pareto said that 20% of the people have 80% of the wealth 20% of the uh, people have 80% of the wealth right so and similarly 20 uh, if you even look today 20% of the people or even less than 20% of the people those millionaire billionaire has all the wealth so that is vital few trivial many you look at your home let's say there are 10 people 2 to 3 person have all the wealth they are the vital few so that is pareto chart right so once we collect the data from pareto chart we can use fishbone diagram also known as ishikawa cause and effect multiple way fishbone diagram we put the problem here let's say here we identify the number one defect that is causing there we put a problem here here we will do why why analysis on it what is the cause of this how this is affected cause effect cause effect and then keep on asking why this happened why this why this why this why 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 analysis on all of them that is cause and effect diagram or fishbone diagram that's a very important thing to understand this is like why this happen okay acha why this why this five why this is normally put on people process equipment environment things of those nature very important tool used a lot there once you have identify it if you want to put correlation ship between two variables scatter diagram can be used scatter diagram also known as correlation what is the relationship between two x and y how x is impacting the y how y is changing like if let's say if i change x will y be impacted if y will be also increased we'll say positive correlation if increasing x y increase i say positive correlation if increasing x y decrease i say negative correlation if increasing x y has no impact i would say no correlation at all okay then we can also use flow charts 
दैट शोज स्टेप वन स्टेप टू स्टेप थ्री दिस इज फ्लो चार्ट कैन ऑल्सो बी नोन एज प्रोसेस डायग्राम एटसेट्रा अनदर टाइप ऑफ विजुअल चार्ट आर माइंड मैप्स आई यूज माइंड मैप्स आर लॉट इन माई क्लासेस वेर बेसिकली वी पुट ऑल द डाटा ऑन वन पेज राइट दैट इज माइंड मैप्स टूल्स दैट वी यूज देर आर ऑल्सो अदर टूल्स लाइक डिजाइन ऑफ एक्स डी ओ एक्स दिस इज यूज टू ऑप्टिमाइज ऑप्टिमाइज डिजाइन लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट्स देर आर टेन वेरिएबल्स एटसेट्रा एटसेट्रा we will make all line constant and one we will change and then other and then other then other we will see uh, we will see like how those variables are impacted by changing the purpose is like change one and work with other to see how we can uh, impact or improve it then another tool is failure mode effect analysis it is basically like it is used a lot in aeronautics and those things where we actually see how uh how what how the things will fail if the things are going to fail we are going to affect it which things can lead to it how that things can fail so failure mode effect analysis it's like a post mortem we are looking into that which things can work into it we can also do pre mortem where we look into that how things uh, could fail right both post mortem failure mode effect analysis can be used in post mortem pre mortem Uh, pre mortem so these are 15 tools and technique that i wanted to share with you quickly i hope that makes sense to you and you like them if any of them are not clear put in the comment i will be more than happy to come the comment and answer you and if you are watching this video for the first time do subscribe our youtube channel if you are watching at youtube and like this share with other if you think anyone else can get help from this and if you want to join our program my program is starting in few days so this is the number this is same on whatsapp also you can contact me and i will be more than happy to work with you thank you very much bye bye